friends, to the crew motor fest. Now, this is going to be an interest. I didn't mean to go through the floor like that. This is going to be an interesting one because we've got the Dodge Charger Red Eye SRT Hellcat Wide Body. I think I got it. It's a very complicated name. But once again, thanks to Ubisoft for giving me for early access to the game. If you're interested in this game, please do consider using my code Black Panther on the Ubisoft store. Now, this car is kind of special for a couple of reasons. It is one of two of the special cars that you can only get if you use real money. Now, I made a video dedicated to talking about the season pass, the car pass that's available in this game. And to summarize it, to give you the short version, you should watch the video, I'll link it at the end of this one. You don't actually need to buy the pass to get access to the cars. They will be available. How? Well, they'll be a little bit later, a week later. Other than that, you get access to them. Now this, that's not the case. You actually have to buy the car pass. <laughs> Look how old that thing looks. <laughs> what crap model you are. Get in the bin, you're rubbish. The new boy is here. So yes, to get this car, you need to buy the car pass. And it seems like it's going to be for good. There are two cars that you get, you can only get by the car pass. The Chevelle SS, for clarification, is the other car that you get, which is again, quite an interesting one to do because very cool car either way let's check out the customization is it really worth buying these unless they have great customization i like how you think and that's why we're here so let's start off with this thing i'm gonna get the name for dodge charger srt hellcat red eye wide body now right now it's actually giving me a 10 percent. you can't even see it's giving me a 10 percent boost on the good old xp because of the fact that it's the american muscle week which is pretty cool so let's jump into customization now colors as a standard we've actually got like a black accent version which is really cool i kind of wish that was the case for all of them however we're gonna show you what's of it that purple is stunning holy crap i really like that so they've got a yellow with the same effect but you could do that with stickers just a little bit more of a step kind of annoying there i know right let's go with this purple to start with because that looks good i am so ready for this right hood customization we got three options to start with we've got a full carbon version i don't need what i was just talking about because i'm gonna go for the full carbon fiber version 20 front bumper options which is awesome now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm in the camp of normally i don't really understand why people get super hyped and excited about them adding this type of car hear me out the reason i'm, I'm kind of like that i don't really see the point in not just adding more customization to a standard model it's a little bit confusing i feel like in the crew it maybe makes a little bit more sense if you can have this car in the hypercar class but it doesn't really seem to be the case that looks so sick i think my favorite option is number 15 no 15 <laughs> actually pick the number i was about to bloody say front fender what the f why have you got front fender customization options oh my god no way <laughs> that is wide i love that they thought no no no, their wide body's not not good enough it's not up to snuff let's so let's add our own uh i kind of want to go for the carbon let's start with that and we may change our minds we've got wheels to go along with it number one number two also more SRT here. Have you got gold? Oh, no. Nah. It would be really nice to be able to change the manufacturer's wheels colors. Because you can't do that. Uh, into the caliper colors is something you can change. Let's go for like a... Maybe a pink. That would actually go really well. No. Maybe? It would! Look at me. I know what I'm doing. Wing mirror customization. We're going to change them to carbon fiber. Side skirts. We've got a bigger option. We've got a carbon option. Go for the wide... Let's tell how much wider it is from the rear view there. That is tremendously wider. So much better. I love that. And onto the rear wing, seven options. We go for the carbon standard wing, slightly bigger. I mean, I was going to say it doesn't fit, but then the the, the bumper, the, the boot, <laughs> get there in the end, wouldn't open. Good gravy. Uh, so I kind of like option number two. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more subtle on the wang. Not only I'm the big wang man, but like, I don't know. My boot won't open. It's kind of impractical and stupid. <laughs> but that usually makes it better. Right, the fuser. Let's go a little bit more. Oh, what on earth is going on? That is pretty mental, to say the least. More smoked out than the standard. So there's like two tiers of smoke, it seems. We go for a proper dark, but that is... 
That's wild. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for something that crazy. What the heck? Absolutely, yes, I am. It's horrendous. <laughs> All right, white interior. Let's go with the red and just go with like stitching. I think that works quite nicely. Change the interior to carbon fiber and she's done. Customization done, friends. It looks sick. Now, I do actually have some parts. I don't have any vanity or anything, but this is 550 from the go. So it won't actually take that long to upgrade this thing. I'm all, I've already got level 750 parts. What do you mean? What? There's no way I can pretty much max cars out already, right? Well, I guess I'm doing it. We're going to see exactly what this thing is capable of. I had no idea I had all these parts. Where the hell did they come from? <laughs> what? We're literally five off of max. I've driven the damn thing three miles. What inc incredible. And there's the affixes. I can't wait to get to that affix grind. I do actually enjoy it. Am I weird? Potentially. Potentially. Whoa. Holy crap. This purple is stunning. Who bashed the front of my car? It was me. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Pretty much fully maxed out. SRT boy. Let's give this a go. I love this thing so much. It looks tremendous. The red dials as well, showing you it's the proper version. I like that a lot. Now, kind of in my position on the game, don't really want to uh, <laughs> progress in terms of the Let's Play stuff, so... We're still getting there, slowly. Go away. I feel like this could properly have a drag car option too. I don't know why it's not there, but there you go. Pretty cool car, pretty cool customization. And I, I will say it's pretty stable too. I was kind of expecting it to be, you know, like a muscle car, but it feels like it wants to go more in a straight line than actually just sliding everywhere. Like a crazy muscle car, like, you know, you would imagine. Considering this thing has, how much? Give me the details. A thousand horsepower. So for the foreseeable, these two cars are going to be the rarest cars in the Crew Motor Fest. Which is pretty weird to say. Saying that though, maybe not the case considering there's, you know, the, the, the Crew 2 cars that you can't unlock unless you play the Crew 2. But the Crew 2 is cheaper than the car pass. So therefore, <laughs> I'm still right. Let's check out the other one. From Modern Muscle. Oh, to that transition didn't go as smoothly as possible. To classic American muscle. <laughs> what a noise this makes. I'm actually going to turn the music off. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, that's the skip button. I didn't mean to do that. Turn it off. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, let's give it a go. Customization. They've really got their muscle car-ness down, haven't they? Right, go into vehicles, go into customization and begin customizing the second vehicle of today. Right, HUD customization. I'm expecting big things. Not just because of the... <laughs> Not just because of the fact it's absolutely massive. Uh, let's have a look through the colors quickly. I think the red is probably the way I'm going to stay. Oh, I do like a classic kind of... The uh, say brown, but... <laughs> maroon like a bit no 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 red i like the red right 20 bus 20 bus and <laughs> bumper customization options i didn't mean to say that but these lights i think i had bought some of these for like my bike these are ready readily available absolutely everywhere incredible it kind of looks a little bit naked without the the bumper on there so i'm gonna go with one of those however I kind of like the black one. That looks pretty cool. I would love this bumper with the chrome bumper and the black one. I can paint it. I always forget that. Hmm. I am going to go for number 18. You thought I was going to go a little bit crazy, didn't you? Give me those fenders. Oh my God. Ooh, that is wide. Wheel customization. We've got the one set that we can use. I don't want pink on this one. Side mirrors. Did that make them carbon? No, it just made them black. I was going to say. <laughs> it doesn't really fit anything else on this car. We've got the rear fenders. We've got five options on the rear fenders. Oh, it also changes the roof. I mean, I, I'm glad they at least gave me the option without because oh, that's the one I'm going for. Rear wing customization. Am I going to make it up and go for the big one? 
No. Maybe? I kind of... I kind of dig it now a little bit. Rear bumper customization to finish it off. Those LEDs look so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> oh. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. That one. Interior. Thankfully, we're actually matching it. So we can just go for the red seats. It's going to look spicy. We're going for the wood. Absolutely. Now, I did just kind of spend all of my uh, spend, uh, use all of my good parts. Actually, no, this is a lower level. This is a lower level, so you can't use your best parts. The max level this goes to is 600. So 600 is the best. I like that. So it kind of combines the parts, but at the same time, it doesn't like, it just makes it less messy is what I'm trying to say. And finally, another 600. Once again, like three points off of maximum on this one. I'm liking this a lot. <sighs> the front bumper looks a bit too tame, doesn't it? I might have to go for this. It just, it looks a little bit more aggressive. Stunning. Holy that idol. <laughs> what a noise. Right, without further ado, friends, jump into this cockpit view and go for a drive oh oh <laughs> how's the crew gone from like one of the worst sounds to some of the best sounds this probably sounds better than the real thing i'm sorry any chevelle ss fans out there we're stuck at 190 190 actually doesn't feel that fast. I feel like the sense of speed is a bit lower in this game. I don't know if that's 100% factual. I haven't compared them side by side again for a little bit there, but 190 definitely feels a little bit sluggish in the crew. This thing is not turning. <laughs> I love this so much. If you do not have access to these two cars, what I recommend buying the car pass to get seven days early access to all the cars and get them for free. And then also, I say for free. You know what I mean. Ultimately, later down the line, these two cars are going to be the only things that you need to pay this pass for. And then obviously access to... You get the idea. Is it worth it? Money is a bit of a grind on this. However, I'm going to say... Maybe... <laughs> if it was up to me... Like, I got it. Like, I got it with the Gold Edition, Ultimate Edition, whatever. But... I probably wouldn't recommend getting it for the two cars alone. They're pretty cool. I doubt they're that quick. I've definitely driven some. This thing doesn't turn for one. But I kind of don't care. I definitely think this is my favorite of the two. I've kind of come to love it. Anyway, what do you think? You bought it? Did you buy it? Did you not? Make sure to use creator code Black Panther on the Ubisoft store if you are going to buy it. Check out these.